There's an ongoing war that's taking place right now, and you people are probably all thinking I'm talking about Ukraine, Russia, maybe China, Taiwan. No, it's not one of those folks. This is a war between the Walmart Corporation and the Dollar Tree Corporation. And who is winning out? And who's crying the blues? You see, for once, maybe the Walmart Corporation is finally getting what it deserves as far as what it has done to a lot of small businesses in this country throughout all the cities, towns, and what it's done to those areas and how it's closed stores that have been, you know, open for 40, 50, 60, 70 years or more. You see, Dollar Tree is going after Walmart and Dollar Tree is winning. Over the past few weeks, everybody is starting to buy all their back to school products. Walmart announced the other day that they were coming in short on their sales of their back to school supplies. And that is because Dollar Tree is going after them big time. They're offering more products this year than they have ever before in their stores for back to school. You can get binders, you can get binder inserts, you can get anything and everything, and it's $1.25. Yes, you can go into Walmart and you can pick up a thing of pencils for 33 cents and so on and so forth. But overall, Dollar Tree is crushing it. And Walmart is losing money on its back-to-school products to Dollar Tree. Isn't it just amazing how sometimes the tide has turned? Maybe Walmart is getting its little hand spanked from another corporation. Isn't that kind of nice for once? Let's just face it, folks. No matter where you shop for most of your back-to-school products and everything else, a lot of that stuff does come from China. The question is, who is going to sell it cheaper? And who is going to sell it at a more reasonable price for people that are struggling in this country right now because of the high prices of everything? And back-to-school is just a Another problem for a lot of American people out there, for a lot of families. They got to figure out how they're going to supply their kids with all the needs and stuff that they will need to go back to school. Now, I know a lot of communities down here, a lot of different Counties and stuff are all running different types of programs and trying to give out backpacks to the less fortunate kids full of all the things that they're going to need for back to school. And I'm sure this is taking place all over the country because everybody is hurting everywhere. And that is half the problem right now. A lot of states, they may be doing back-to-school tax-free days. I know here in Florida, they did it for two weeks this year to try to help people in a time of need to try and make sure that they can save a little bit of money somehow to get those back-to-school products. The funny thing of it is, though, when you go into Dollar Tree... And you look at all their back to school stuff and everything else. They have a ton. They have a ton of stuff. But they have the goods in the back room to put right back out. So that there is plenty to go around. The Dollar Tree that I deliver to, they have been just jam-packed. They're just rocking and rolling. That place is just as busy as Walmart is. And people are buying a lot of the back-to-school products right now. Down here in Florida, school starts next week. So everybody is getting ready. 
and it's all going to be coming to a town near you. You know, throughout the country, schools start at different times. You know, in Florida, we start next week. And then it just a ripple effect throughout the country. So by the beginning of September, most everybody across the country will be back to school. So I urge everybody, if you do have a Dollar Tree in your area, and you do have the availability to get to that Dollar Tree, you may want to check that out if you need back to school supplies. Because on a lot of products, it's about 48% cheaper to go to Dollar Tree than it is to go to Walmart. Walmart, hopefully, is finally getting what it deserves. They're so overstocked on all the junk nobody needs. But on the things that people need, want, they don't have. And if you do find things, especially at Walmart, you have to ask yourself, how long has this thing been sitting around? So I just wanted to bring you a quick video today and hopefully give everybody a little bit of advice if you're looking for back to school goods like so many Americans are right now. If you have a Dollar Tree in your local area, which there's a lot of those stores throughout the country. I would highly suggest checking them out, especially if you're on a tight budget. You may be able to find a lot of things on that little piece of paper that you get from the school or the one that your kid is getting ready to bring home as a surprise notice on the first day of school. You kind of get the idea what they're going to need depending on the grade. So maybe you could go out and pre-buy now. Try to save yourself some money. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody stays safe. Keep prepping. And get out there and try to save some money. And heating up your Dollar Tree. In your local area. Let's hurt Walmart some more. And make them realize... They're not the only dog in town anymore. Till next time, folks. I'll catch you all on the flip side.